What's up guys, it's Keith and this is going to be a real long video. It's about my recommendations for day two, EDC. I'm going to talk about all the artists I enjoy. There's Chris Lake, ASAP Rocky, Black Tiger Sex Machine, a bunch of other people. And yeah, I'm going to play little snippets of songs that I enjoy from them. I'm going to tell you how the vibe is going to be when you're at the set. And yeah, so sit back, get the popcorn, and get ready to hear some recommendations by Keith. So the first person I'm going to talk about, ASAP Rocky. He is a great, great performer. I've seen him live three times and yeah, he's just really, really fun. He does not just sound like he's like meh, 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 like monotone or anything. I'm not sure if he's going to perform this song, but it's a good one. <laughs> that song is Goldie. It's pretty old, but it just gives you a little feel of his flow. It's really good, as you can see. If you don't like it, that just means you, you know, you have another time slot where you don't have to have a conflict. So if you don't like ASAP Rocky, that's totally cool. I personally love his music and I'm really excited to see him. I bet he's going to be at Cosmic Meadows. I know he's going to bring out people. Before I forget to mention, ASAP Rocky does have a song with Skrillex. I know you've heard it. It's not that new. So don't forget this song. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying if ASAP Rocky is playing and there's a little slot after him that says like secret guest or something, I think you know what's going on. And I really hope that it happens. I want to see Skrillex at EDC. I don't know if exactly it's going to happen, but it could. So on to my next artist, Arm & Hammer. This is a group of two guys. I think they're Filipino. I'm not 100% sure, but I've seen them before. Literally seen them. I haven't seen them yet at a festival. I've just seen their pictures and their music is very similar to Porter Robinson. I'm not saying they're copying him. I'm just saying I know they're influenced for sure by him and some of their music sounds like this. Yeah, just imagine that live. It's gonna feel really good. You're actually gonna feel it, you know? And another song by them called To Say Goodbye. Check this out. They have a really good sound. I really hope I could see them. I hope the conflicts aren't too bad because I haven't seen them yet. And to see them at a huge stage like EDC, oh man. Next person I'm going to talk about, Black Tiger Sex Machine. They're actually a group of, I think, three guys or four. I forgot to be honest. It was EDC 2017. I just watched Kid and then these people were up next. I didn't know who they were, but I was chilling at Cosmic Meadows. So I was like, oh, I'll just watch a little bit. And damn, um, my mind was blown. I was like, Wait, who are these people? How have I never heard about them? They got some songs that sound like this. They're gonna be at Bass Pod. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be fast. It's gonna be fun. And another song that they have is this one. Yeah, super fun. Just like I said, this next artist I'm gonna talk about, no introduction needed, Chris Lake. Listen to this. What you talking about? <laughs> Super fun vibes, super good music, and another song I have to play for you guys is called Concentrate, and it goes a little something like this. I'm struggling to concentrate. He's gonna be a good time, he's gonna be a lot of fun, you're gonna have fun if you see him, I promise. And this next person I'm gonna talk about, I believe he's gonna be at Neon Gardens, name is Cloud Von Stroke. If you have heard about him, you know what kind of a legend he is, and if you have not heard about him, Go check him out because he deserves your respect. His music does build and there's no different drops every 35 seconds because that's not his style. But if you can really appreciate his music, then yeah, check him out. This is one of his songs called Grenade. That's called Ron Stroke and the next person I'm going to talk about, Dion Timmer. He's kind of a prodigy of Excision. So if you're a fan of Excision, you know exactly what this is going to sound like. Actually, that's a lie. He doesn't sound exactly like Excision. Yeah, he has some songs with him, but a lot of his songs that are just with him, it's very like, oh, well, I like what I'm hearing right now. I'll shut up and just let you hear this drop right now. Now, I doubt a lot of his set is going to sound like that, but you are going to get songs like, of course, like sounds like that. But another song that he has that will probably really show you how his set will sound like is this one. It's called Very Extra. Very extra. 
<laughs> yeah, if your face starts to do that, that just means, oh, you're really feeling the face and you really understand base face because, yeah, that's base face. And next person I'm going to talk about, you've probably seen him on lineups all the time. His name is Don Diablo. He's very, very fun, very bouncy, and has his own classics. These are one of his songs right here. He does change it up every now and then. He has this future bass song called People Say. Check this out, listen to this, and if you like this, check out Don Diablo. And yeah, to the next artist, this is another artist that has been here forever. Their name is Infected Mushroom. They play Psytrance and everything, and I feel like they're kind of the Seven Lions before Seven Lions became Seven Lions with Psytrance, because check out this song. <laughs> song's called Here We Go, Go, Go. They didn't want to go just once, they wanted to go three times, so it's called Here We Go, Go, Go. So this other artist, if you've never heard about him, please again, say hi to Patrick, get out from under that rock. His name is Cascade. And I'll just play three tracks that I love from him so you can get a feel of if you're gonna enjoy Cascade. Yeah, those are some Cascade songs. He will not disappoint, I promise. If you're not feeling it, of course, get out of there, but highly suggest you see Cascade if you have not seen him. And if there is conflicts and you're thinking like, damn, maybe I shouldn't see Cascade, just know he's gonna be around for a while. So maybe you could just hold off on him and see someone else that you know you don't really see on lineups. But the next person I'm gonna talk about, they're also on lineups a lot. He's very young, going on tour. His name is Keizo, and his set is gonna sound as something like this. Wake up. Super fun music, more music by him. This one's called Waiting, and it goes like this. Yeah, that's Keizo. He's gonna be great. He's gonna be up and super energy. So if you're trying to chill, probably don't see him. But if you're trying to go crazy, check out Keizo. This next artist I'm gonna talk about is two people. They're called Loud Luxury. They're on the rise right now. They came out with a song called Body that you've probably heard because it has 450 million plays on Spotify. And it's this song right here. That's the vibe they're gonna give off in their set. You're gonna hear stuff that sounds very similar to that. And if you like that song, go check them out because you're gonna have a lot of fun. The next artist I'm gonna talk about is another legend in the making. His name is Martin Garrix. Tiesto was just like, hey, there's this kid named Martin Garrix, he's gonna be really good, check him out. He's been at EDC for the past, I don't know how many years. He's been at a lot of other music festivals, he has millions and millions and millions of plays on Spotify, and a couple of his songs are like this. But he also has other songs with a different vibe that sound like this. He plays a bunch of hard things also, just randomly, so you're gonna enjoy that. But when he wants to calm everyone down, he's gonna play tunes like this. That's Martin Garrix, another name that's been a while but hasn't been like showcased every time on festivals is Nero. They have really good remixes with Porter Robinson and Skrillex. They also have a song with Zoo, super super good. And this is the song from Skrillex that you know. Another legendary remix from Porter Robinson. And a more recent song by them, the song with Zoo, it is called Dreams. Check out this sound. So that's Nero. Check them out because they're not on a lot of lineups. They're very cool. I saw them at Hard Summer one time and I was very, wow. Next artist I'm going to talk about, his name is Nightmare. He has this whole thing with Slander, it's called Good Vibrations, and personally between the two artists, Slander and Nightmare, I do enjoy Nightmare more. Slander's still really, really good, I'm not putting them down at all, it's just I do enjoy Nightmare more. And a great song to make you realize what his set is going to sound like, it's called Bang, and it's this one right here. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, that's Nightmare. He's super cool. Another artist I want to talk about is Medicine. He's going to be very calm. I saw him at Zed at the park, to be honest. He was kind of like too calm for me. But if you're trying to chill, he's still a great artist. And he remixed this song that I know you know. And it's, it goes a little something like this. <laughs> So yeah guys, that was Medicine. He's gonna be very calm, like I said. So if you're trying to go crazy and you wanna do something else, I suggest you see someone else. But if you do have a chance and you wanna chill, check out Medicine, he's gonna be cool. This next artist I'm gonna talk about is Noizu. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but it's N-O-I-Z-U. This is a couple songs by them. Blinded by these lasers. As you can see, it's gonna be very housey vibe, bouncy, dancing side to side, and yeah, it's gonna be really fun. There's another song by them. Super, super cool. I have not seen Noizu, so I'm pretty excited to see them. I've heard good things and listened to the music, obviously, I enjoy it. This next person I'm gonna talk about, super, super, super good performer. I've seen her eight times. I probably will see her again at EDC because she's just so good. Her name is Rez. If you have not heard about her, she might become your next favorite artist. She's definitely in my top five. And this is, I'm just gonna play a couple songs by her because, um, yeah, yeah, here we go. I put six total songs in the playlist that I made for you guys in EDC Day 2. It's going to be in the comments. But a lot of songs by Rez because, like I said, one of my favorite artists. And yeah, please check her out if you do not know about her. So, next artist I'm going to talk about, R.L. Grime. He's going to be on main stage for the first time. His music is crazy. He plays a lot of his songs, meaning he has a lot of good songs. And a lot of them are very epic. That's the word that comes to mind when I think about R.L. Grime, and this is one of the songs I'm talking about. That one is called Core, super cool, kind of old, so I'll play a little updated song of his. It's called Pressure. <laughs> Super crazy song, super intense. You're gonna really feel his music and his visuals are gonna be very minimal but very effective, I promise you. This next group I'm gonna talk about, Slander. They've been at EDC for the past couple years, I think three or four. They're a really good group. They brought up Nightmare, which I really appreciate. And yeah, their songs are gonna sound like this. <laughs> That's one of their more happy songs because they actually go really, really, really hard. This is one of the songs I'm talking about. If you notice I like to whip, it's pretty funny. I think it's hilarious. People laugh all the time. I'm laughing too, so I'm gonna be whipping all weekend long at EDC. If you wanna whip with me, come with me. It's pretty funny. I know it's old, but it's still pretty funny to me. So Slander's gonna be cool. They're gonna have some really feelsy songs when they want to. And this next artist I'm gonna talk about. Again, if you've never heard about them, kind of weird to me. His name is Tiesto. He always throws a good party. And a couple songs that you might hear at his set are these. <laughs> Tiesto was known for trance all the time. He's changed it up because he knows times are changing. I'm not saying he's changing his whole style, but he's just bringing the past into the present and these are the songs I'm talking about in the past. I really enjoy this one. I really hope he plays it. I don't know if he will, but this is one of my favorites. It's called Paradise. Such a fun set. He's gonna be great, I promise you, but like Cascade, he's gonna be here for a while. Even though he's super old, it doesn't look like he's slowing down at all. So if you have Tiesto and someone else in a slot, and you're thinking, who should I see? Probably see the other person if, you know, you enjoy them more. Because you're going to see TS on lineups a lot. And we've got four more artists, guys. So, first of all, thank you so much for bearing with me for this long video. Um, like and subscribe. You see this little pop-up. 
it really helps me out share this video for people that might use it and a real quick thank you so my next artist we talk about valentino khan super super fun i've seen him probably like six times so if i don't see him right now it's totally cool but if i could see him i know i'm gonna have a good time these are a couple of his songs <laughs> Here's another one, it's called Lick It. And one more by him, it's a song with him and Keizo. It's super, super, well, I'll just let you hear it. So you see how he has that little thump, like boom, boom. He has that sound, and if you enjoy that, Go to the set, you're gonna hear it all night and he does play house a couple times to make the crowd feel like it's grooving, you know, so he'll switch it up, he'll be a great time and the next person I'm gonna talk about, Virtual Riot, it's another person who's gonna switch it up, probably gonna play a lot of dubstep, also gonna play some feel good songs that sound like this. <laughs> I personally love hearing those types of songs in the middle of a dubstep set because, well, it's a good balance. So, this is another one of his songs, though, and as you can see, it's very different from the first one I just showed you. Here it is Virtual Riot. <laughs> That one's called Troublemaker. If you listen to that song, you probably might turn into one, so I highly suggest you do. Just kidding, I was just talking out of my ass. Next artist I'm gonna talk about, second to last, Yoltron, super cool artist. He's a great guy, because I see him all over social media, always doing so much for his fans, and I highly suggest you see him. Yoltron, awesome artist. I'm gonna be a raper till the motherfucking day, 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 day. Second part of the drop is where it really gets fun. Check this out. But yeah, he's really into happy hardcore stuff. If you're a fan of that, upbeat, fast, boom, 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 high BPM. Check out Yoltron, you will not be disappointed. This brings me to my last artist I'm gonna talk about, Zhu. Z-H-U, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments. But yeah, Zhu, super distinct sound. He's not gonna sound like anyone that you've heard before. It's kind of like, Rez or R.L. Grime in the sense where they have their sound, they got it down, and they're presenting it to the world. So, this is Zoo. Super good. This is the last song I'm going to play for you guys. It is a song with Skrillex, and it is called Working For It. Listen to this. So those are the artists I recommend you seeing. If there are any artists that you were like, hey, how come you didn't add this guy to the list? Possibly, I haven't heard about them because I'm just one person. I don't know all the music out there. If you do have any recommendations, please comment below. I wanna hear who you were excited for. And even if the person was already on the list, let me know in the comments who you're excited to see because maybe we can plan to meet up and rage for a bit because I do wanna meet you guys. I know I'm not gonna meet every single person in this group because that's just you know not possible, but I know I could meet a good amount of you guys, so I'm Keith. Thank you so much for watching my long ass videos. And don't forget to press the like button, share it if you think someone can get value out of this video. And yeah, I'll be around. See you guys soon.